That is a video of a lady in distress. Though we don't have the full context, it is obvious she was intimidated by other people on the bus. From what we could glean from that clip, her only crime was to show support for Tinubu and by her admission, she was even joking about it. But the damage had already been done. They scapegoated her for daring to talk about Tinubu as if he was Voldemort. You could hear people saying that Nigerians are hungry. The very mention of Tinubu's name in public it seems is now being used as an excuse to attack people on the premise that there is widespread anger in Nigeria. To contextualize what happened to her, we must understand how Nigerians typically engage in political discourse. Politics for us is meant to be confrontational. You can't engage in nuance when you talk politics in Nigeria. I've been guilty of that myself many times. If you show support for a candidate others disapprove of, then you are automatically demonized and shamed for it instead of them engaging you in a good faith conversation to understand the reasons for your political persuasion. From a casual observation of American politics, this is exactly what is happening to them over there in the US. Both the left and the right in American politics do nothing but antagonize themselves every day. When I watched this video, I asked myself, when did things become this bad? To the extent we've thrown away civility completely. The idea of Nigerians being angry is a ridiculous excuse to justify an abhorrent behavior. Justifying what they did to that lady on the premise that Nigerians are hungry is as good as justifying armed robbery or banditry on the premise that there is widespread poverty and unemployment in Nigeria. It's all fine until you or someone you care about becomes a victim of robbery or banditry. Now imagine if that lady was your sister or daughter. Would you still hold the view that Nigerians are hungry, therefore there was nothing wrong with what it did to her? If care is not taken, things will only get worse from here. What happens if you go to another region in the country and you talk about your preferred candidate and you get shamed and attacked for it like they did to that lady because your candidate is not popular in that region? This is how the culture of violence is replicated. Nothing good ever comes out of it and it must be stopped in its tracks. Yes, it is true. Nigerians are hungry. There is fuel and minor scarcity. There is inflation and wages have remained stagnant for those who are lucky not to have been laid off from work. It is harder to be a Nigerian today than at any time in the history of the country. But we cannot let anger make us uncivil. We cannot throw away basic human decency because of politics. If truly we lived in a democracy, then the right of people to support whomever they want would be respected, regardless of how we feel about their choices. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. Let me know what you think in the comments below. You can also check out my website where I write articles on politics and culture. Visit disaffected.ng. If you want to keep the conversation going, links to my socials are in the description. I'll see you in the next one.